to table tennis philosophy. As you can see, this is my 100th video. And when I started making these, uh, once I got started, one of my goals was to get to 100. And uh, now at a 100, I was gonna reassess, decide if I wanted to keep going, see if they have improved any. I think they've gotten a little bit better and I'm gonna continue making them. And I don't know how, how many, but I uh, might go for another hundred. So anyway, uh, really enjoy doing this and hope some of the information is helpful to other table tennis players. I continue to get the best ideas for content from comments and requests. So I'm gonna again ask you to, any other questions you've got, send them in, they really help. I just had a brief comment from one player who I don't remember his name, but he said he thought my videos would be more interesting if I showed some video of me playing and me doing some coaching. And he's right. Uh, it, it would be good to get some of that in there, and I hope to do that at some point. Um, but. I would like to also add this. One of the things that I wanted to be able to do with these videos is to be able to produce them quickly, keep lots of content coming, and since it is table tennis philosophy, a lot of it is giving you ideas about table tennis for you to think about. Uh, seeing me play uh, may not be all that helpful. It might make some of the videos a little more interesting if I had a little more action. I understand that. Uh, maybe not me playing, but some other people playing and that kind of thing would be good. But um, really, it, it made me think about something that uh, is common where when you're observing another player playing, there's a lot that you don't see. I particularly remember some tournaments where I saw somebody playing and thought, that uh, I would probably not have too much trouble beating that particular player until I got up on the table and discovered all those shots that looked like they would be easy to return had a whole lot more spin than you than I thought they had. Um, some of the serves that looked like they would be easy to return when you actually got up there, they were different. The point is there's a lot that's somewhat invisible about our game. Uh, shots that, you know, I've, I've seen players who just gave the same serve over and over and continued to have good results from it. And there's, it, it's, it can fool you. It can really fool you. So seeing me play, you, what you would see is a flawed player, somebody who did, doesn't move enough, doesn't have great footwork, uh, I am 64, so I'm going to play my age card a little bit on this. Uh, somebody that learned table tennis late in life, relatively, uh, played all my life, but really didn't get any formal coaching until I was in my 40s. So a lot of the coaching that I do is working with players who are also flawed, but uh, knowing that I've struggled to get to the level that I am all through, you know, things that a 10 year old could probably do in two years. It takes a middle aged person 10 years to get to get to that. Sometimes that's just an example. And um, so there's, there's things that you can see about a player. Uh, certainly if you observe players and their game is dreadfully off and it's obvious that they don't know what they're doing. Uh, th that's, that's obvious stuff, but you can sometimes be surprised by what you do see with players. Um, good form does go a long way. You can recognize good footwork, but sometimes some of the shots that look like they might be easy to return are surprisingly difficult if you actually have to be the person returning them. And um, it's one of the interesting things about our sport point being also that anytime you step up to play a new opponent, don't underestimate them. Maybe they are very young. Maybe they're very old. Maybe they're overweight. Maybe they don't look too bright. Maybe, maybe they're wearing blue jeans. Um, maybe, maybe there's all kinds of reasons you might have to underestimate them as a player, but your best bet is never to underestimate any player. Approach every competition seriously, uh, realizing that sometimes you don't know how good a player is until you actually have to play them. 
So anyway, I do hope sometime in this next hundred videos to get some video of uh, action at the table. But in the meantime, I'm just going to give you a lot to think about and hopefully uh, keep you interested in the sport of table tennis and uh, all the things there are to think about it. All right, see you next time.